Okay, I will come back to the class once again. So we'll be going on to the character two where we'll be taking a very wonderful lecture in that character two. So we'll be dealing on understanding the culture system. Understanding the culture system. Now, the first step for starting fish farming is what? Getting a land and standard water supply. Like having a borehole with overhead tank. Then get a good practical experience consultant to guide you. If you have undulated landscape, now if you want to cons if you want to get a consultant, you can contact Grandskills to get you a professional consultant, not not a, a professional theoretical consultant. We are talking about professional practical consultant who has a farm, who is practicing it, who has experience in the business, years of experience, because when you consult a quack, a theoretical a consultant, you are bound to fail. So many people go ahead to write books of what they don't do. They just gather materials on on internet, they compile it, and they sell, or they begin to place advice on what they do not do. So for you to get a, pra a professional practical consultant that will give you what you want, always contact Grandskis International to do that for you. Or you can also handle whatever you want to do after undergoing this class. But if you still need more hands, you can contact the platform. Okay? So, if you have undulated landscape, make sure to erect your pond on a higher area of the land. I will give example of this teaching on a video clip. Okay, we are, I'll show my face and the, the study and what I mean by this. Okay, and then direct your waste pipes to the lower part of the land. Okay, so in this character too, I will have to place a part two of this. That will be on a video where I explained this, all this, okay? So if the landscape is good, then you have to fill your pond at the waste area to be to be a bit higher than the land to enable free flow of water to your waste pipe. Okay. Now it is also helpful when you run a topography survey or make grids to balance the landscape. And that's if you have the capital. If you don't have the capital, you can always do something. So this, it doesn't mean uh, my land has, has uh, the, the landscape is not good, the topography is so, is, is somehow I don't have the capital to do a survey or to make grid. So there is always a way for it, okay? So, Fish farming can be done anywhere as long as as long you have a COO, which is a C of O. If you have a C of O, now what I mean by this is even if you are living in in a in a in a big estate, in an industrial estate, where so many prominent persons are living there, if you have a C of O, you can also do your fish there as long as you keep the environment clean and avoid pollution, okay? So, uh, as long as you have a sea of O for the land acquired. So, it can be done at your backyard, can be done at your lobby, at your front compound, beside your fence, inside of compound, an empty land can be dug and use it for uh, a fish farm, soccer away pit can be used before making use of it, which I said before, and even your uncompleted building can be converted as fish pond as well. So you can start anywhere. 
how to start how do you start before you start you need know the type of culture system suitable for your interest now you want to go into fish farm you have to ask yourself what type of mechanism do i use the mechanism you use for your fish farm determines on your choice determines on your interest so what you want is what you do you may say ah this uh, as I saw a friend using concrete pond and I also saw a friend using a mobile pond I also saw a friend using an earthen pond but I think I love uh, the mobile pond because uh, it's movable yeah if I don't if I want to move the farm from this place to the other side I can easily do that okay so let me go for uh, the mobile pond or oh. I see I saw a friend using an earthen pond. I think I should go for the earthen pond because uh, the the fishes will be will have a nice taste than the one in concrete or mobile pond. I say okay, let me go for earthen pond. All this depends on your choice. Okay? Before you start, you need to know the type of culture system suitable for your interest. A type of pond needed and size that will contain a particular number of fish. So you have an, you say, I want to raise a thousand fish. You should be able to know the size of the space of land you have and your capital. So you'll be able to know a particular number of fish to raise. All this you are going to learn it in this course. Okay. Now, let us talk about culture system. Culture system. This refers to the production system used in aquaculture. Now, remember, we said before you start, you need to know you need to know the type of culture system suitable for you. Okay, so that is why we are doing culture system. This refers to the production systems used in aquaculture. This may be grouped based on whether water flows through the system or the water is stable. Okay, you you can do this. You can you can do this farming depending on how you want to manage your water. If you want your water to be waste stable, you can do that. If you want the water to be stable, to be stagnant water, you can also do that. Okay. If you want it to be removable, you can also do that. So, number one, open culture system. Open culture system. This is known as flow-through system. It means that the water flows from the water inlet through the outlet. Okay. It, it flows. It means that the water flows from the water inlet through the Outlet meaning water movement isn't restricted. The example can be a stream. Okay, the water always moves in from inlet and goes out from from outlet. It just goes one way. It doesn't turn back. That is what we call open culture system. The advantages. Advantages of this: it freshens up fishes and reduces stress caused by low oxygen. B, it washes off accumulating waste such as excess feed, body secretion, uric acid, and feces. C, availability of oxygen in water. <laughs> or this, you get more oxygen. And D, you have fast growth. E, you have good bodily size. Okay? So, in our next class, we'll be coming to... Number two, which is closed culture system, and we're going to talk about it. Thank you very much, and stay tuned.